Hi guys and welcome to Watch It Wednesday episode 71. So let's go ahead and show you the elements you're going to need for today's card, this week's card. So you need a base card. This is going to be five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. Make sure it's in the corner, nice and tight, all even before you do your final score. All right. Then you're going to have a two by six, either basic white, very vanilla, or some sort of light card stock. Um, you're not going to leave it. You are going to cut this down. You'll trim it after we do our technique to it. All right, just so you know that. And then we're going to cut eight to 10, one and a half by three inch strips. So let's go ahead and let's do, I, this is, let's see. <laughs> let's go like this. Let's do our half this way. I'm gonna cut at one inch and then I'm gonna cut again in half. I think that's the easiest way for me to do it. So then I'm going to go into that half mark so I know it's lined up really well. Make sure it's lined up. So there's our half inch. And now we're going to cut three inch strips. You know what? I think I'm going to do one at a time just to be safe. So I'm going to go first to my six inch mark. And then I'm going to go in half to three. It's on a straight line. When they're this thin, I don't like putting them all the way up to the edge. All right, so there we have four strips. Let's do, cut it again, go to our six inch mark, and then put those together and cut them down at three. Now, if you're like me, you have, I'm gonna put this up this time. I just didn't feel very confident about that last one. So that's eight strips there. I say eight to 10. Most of the techniques I'll show you are using eight, but it's always good to have 10 just in case. So you know what, I'm gonna do another half inch here. Make sure it's on that line. Go to my six inch mark here. And go to the three inch mark here. All right, so now I have 10 strips. And for most of these techniques, it works well if your front and back side of your designer series paper is complementary, like this is. It's almost too close, but we'll make it work. Um, you could have it be very contrasting if you want. Now this is not, this is just a scrap I did over the weekend, but see how that's contrasting? So that would also look good. Um, but I like for the method I'm gonna show you, I like um, having them somewhat um, similar, not so much contrasting. And then you're just gonna get a scrap of vanilla, white, or light cardstock for a sentiment. And that's it guys. All there is to prepping for tonight, your base card, your two by six, your eight to 10 strips that are a half inch by three inches and a scrap for your sentiment. That's all there is for today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Friday to finish this up.